What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review for The Book of Boba Fett, Season 1, Episode 4, The Gathering Storm. So in the continuing progression of better and better episodes for The Book of Boba Fett, this is of course probably the latest in the greatest line of episodes. They continue to fill in the backstory for how Boba Fett is, I guess, becoming the ruler of Tatooine, and then um, how he meets up with the Mandalorian, which I'll get to in a little bit. But this episode was all about how he and Fennec Shand team up. So he sees the flare that went up way back when in the Mandalorian um, during, I believe, the Outlaw episode, and Ming-Na Wen's character gets attacked. He finds her takes her to a mod shop in Moss Eisley and um, basically saves her life as part of the debt that um, they agreed to get repaid instead of turning her in or paying her paying him double the bounty um, she decides to or she agrees to help him reclaim Slave 1 which I guess is now going to be called the Fire Spray from Jabba's Palace um, part of that is um, which um, the Yada Yada over was taking out Bib Fortuna, who had taken over Jabba's empire after the events of Return of the Jedi. So that was probably the only low point in the episode. I kind of wanted a little bit more of that, but the whole premise with the attack on Jabba's palace was a precursor to that. So it's kind of a um, up and down for that particular ending, but I actually also kind of wanted a little more. But by the end of the end, or by the, I guess three quarters of the way through the episode, or maybe about halfway, um, Bib, or uh, Boba is able to reclaim his ship and um, take off. He does acknowledge it's a bit rusty, but the advantage to him being considered dead is that he can perform all the repairs himself and get away with a lot of stuff. So. This is basically also filling in the backstory for the Mandalorian for how basically that time when we see him on Tatooine after um, Din Djarin gets the um, gets Boba's armor from the I want to say the gunslinger or sorry the marshal I believe it was the guy the character played by Timothy Oliphant so. Um, it's, it's also sort of, this episode serves a double purpose for what all, all the events that take place during this time. So overall, that's why I felt that this was a pr another pretty good episode. Um, along the lines with various callbacks, I liked that the cooking droid that at first attacks um, Boba and Fennec in the kitchen is basically a low rent version of General Grievous. So he well, he moves from chopping. Uh, vegetables to an attack stance with the spinning knives very reminiscent of Grievous so either they know about it has similar programming or um, Bib Fortuna took the, knew about um, Grievous's attack programming and downloaded it into this droid so I thought that was a nice little touch um, and then also I like that Boba for some reason wants to introduce himself to every character and droid um, he meets so it's like in this case he says he tells a small little droid do you know who I am and I am Boba Fett and I like how he says that so I could hear him say that all the time but it's getting to the point it feels like that why does he need to say that every single time so it's kind of strange on my end uh, my end for that so I kind of wish he would limit that because I guess on one side he wants to keep his the reputation that he's dead alive but then if he keeps approaching people and telling them who he is then he's not going to be considered dead so it's kind of weird there but um there is that and then we also have another return of the jedi connection as far as the other droid in the kitchen um so if you think back to um when r2 and c3po get first go to java's palace um there's a droid that asks how many languages um c3po speaks and so that droid was also in this kitchen and I guess he never left. Um, so Bib Fortuna took over all the droids. So that one ended up staying there and becoming the kitchen overseer or I guess got promoted. But I guess that's his thing is that he wants to stay there and not move to other um, occupations or he never got released from uh, serving in Jabba's palace. Um, and then the final thing is when we close out the episode and um, Fennec and Boba 
talking about building up an army, Boba says that he has plenty of credits to hire who he needs. And Fennec says that sh that credits can buy plenty of muscle. We do hear the theme to the Mandalorian, so my suspicion is that the next episode is going to be a crossover with uh, the Mandalorian, where we either see how he gets to meeting up with Din Djarin, or maybe Boba now is going to announce that he's alive, uh, catch up with the other Mandalorian factions, and trace down where Din and Din Djarin's at um, as far as the planet with Grogu and that Force Nexus kind of thing. Um, so that's really all there is for this review. Overall, a very good episode. Um, I like the attack on the palace. Um, I like that he now is team how he teamed up with Fennec and how she wants to go along for the ride and that their debt is paid. Um, and also the tone he takes with Fennec as far as her wanting to consider the debt paid and she, he says if that is what you wish is very reminiscent um, of when he of the Empire Strikes Back when Vader says no, no disintegrations and Boba says as you wish so a very similar tone there so I liked that little bit of um, callback so all in all a good episode. I, so it's really coming to the point where the first episode was probably really the weakest of the series, but they're continually progressing the story um, and filling in all the information to the point where it all is coming together and it's not as bad of an episode as I thought. So um, that is all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, feedback, what you like, didn't like, is there something I missed as far as an Easter egg or um, anything like that, you can find a comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for our past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.